Hi everyone, Darlene here from Single Boss Lady. Welcome to this week's intuitive business reading for the collective. I do these and I also do them for my beautiful VIP clients. I do occasionally do them in my free group as well, which you can find in the description of this beautiful video. Now don't forget to subscribe to my channel wherever it is. I think it's somewhere here, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you know of anyone that would love to, you know, see these videos, the healings and meditations, Tuesday talks, I'm um, interviewing women as well, business women, so excited. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Feel free to share as well. I would love for reactions, comments, all of that amazing stuff that we love to do to support business women. Now, let's see. Now, what I always do before this, I always do a little ceremony to make sure that I'm set up beautifully. And as you can see, I'm just closing my eyes to make sure that I'm beautifully grounded. That means I'm fully connected to the earth, so I'm actually here. Yet at the same time, I'm able to channel information. Beautiful. And what's really awesome, there, it feels like there's been a real shift because... There's absolutely, I'm able to actually tune into the collective and it feels, it may not look like it out there, but it really feels like there's been a shift. It feels like things are free up, like as I move around, there's nothing actually, um, I can't feel anything, know anything or anything like that in regards to that. It actually feels like there's been a beautiful shift. That, that feels amazing like really amazing it's been a while since there's been such a big shift like that that's incredible now as you can see i do use cards but i also channel information as well the cards are a great visual tool because i'm beautifully visual yet i know things as well i feel all of that beautiful stuff now let's see oh just it feels amazing oh incredible the eight of pentacles has come up now pentacles is about abundance if you've been following me for a while you know that money isn't abundance money is a result of abundance and you can feel even more abundant when you've got plenty of money in your bank accounts or investments or whatever you can feel more abundant and that's a beautiful feeling now the eight is heading towards because nine is ending so this is heading towards that and it's reminding you what's coming through it's reminding you to look at your thoughts patterns and beliefs that are not so helpful i don't believe in this negative positive kind of thing like you know it just it's not me it's helpful and non-helpful that's the beautiful thing about this and what's gorgeous is with this this beautiful person is working on their abundance i've actually got an abundance of pentacles in their hands there's a beautiful mouse and this mouse is actually looking at this person and it really feels like there's support there there's also beautiful webs and actually there's a mouse up the top looking down as well so there's people looking at you to help them with their abundance to help them understand they're looking at you because you're feeling abundant and you're saying that you're abundant they want to know how you do it you don't have to do it as a business you know none of that but you can provide tips and tools if you want of course you're going to do all that you know legal stuff but just think about that think about there's people watching you that want to know how you do things and that's what it's about this beautiful card also has a gorgeous couple of beautiful spider webs with a gorgeous spider now this spider is red and black and you think oh well it looks like it could be one that stings no this spider is reminding you that you're weaving your life you're weaving your own stories now really tap into that because it's up to you to weave your own stories this person looks really diligent with their work as well there's someone who's come to a space where they're in their business they know exactly what they're doing how they're doing it who they serve etc and they're at a place where they can literally just sit there and go wow okay i'm going to work on this for half an hour have a rest work on this they know exactly how they work that's what's coming through they know exactly how they work when the best time is to do dirt, certain things dirt, <laughs> i'm speaking another language when the best time is to do certain things 
They understand their energy inside and out. They know when to rest. They know how many hours to work on their business. And they know that working 40, 50, 60 hours a week is not healthy because it means they don't have time for themselves. They don't have time to rest and integrate. We need to rest so we can actually integrate. If we don't integrate what we're learning, and you can see that I'm talking so fast, I need to pause so you can integrate. If we don't rest and pause to integrate, then all of this beautiful information that's coming, all of these beautiful things that we're creating, it's going to be too busy. People are going to look at us and go, but you've got a thousand billion things. You can market as many as you want, yet feel the energy behind what you're doing. Feel the energy behind what you're marketing. Is it right or is it coming from a place of desperation? Because this person is not feeling desperate. They've got eight pinnacles. So they've got eight things that they market, yet they know when to market, what channels to market on, all of that beautiful stuff. This person is really feeling balanced. There's also water as well. This person's next to water. Emotions. And the water is really, really calm. That means they've really tapped into so much of their amazing abilities. They've tapped into their emotions. They know their emotions are there for a reason. And they've learned how to balance. So instead of these real ups and downs, they've learned how to balance things. And it really feels like a beautiful balance. Now I'm going to show you that gorgeous card. Oops, hopefully the... Come on, little camera. <laughs> That's that gorgeous card. Now what's coming up is also the green and the blue now there's other colors there but the green and the blue the green is healing and the blue traditionally is our throat chakra it is a really beautiful time to allow the beautiful green energy to come in and heal anything that's happening in your throat chakra the more that we can speak from love and speak from a place of confidence and courage the stronger our voice is the clearer our message is and the more profound our message is. When we're really tuning into that, tapping into that, it's amazing what comes through. And you can see that in the readings that I do. And you can see that in the interviews that I do. Because I know when to speak and I know when to let the other person speak. I've really tuned into that ability because I've got the confidence as an interviewer. And this is you. You've got the confidence to run your business the way you want to do it and to speak from a place of authority. That's the word coming through, from authority. Now, if you know tarot, you'd know that all of that that's come through is probably not what's on the cards. That's what I love about what I do. I have the cards, suddenly I'm channeling. I am channeling amazing information because I have tapped in and I've gone... I want this information to come through. I don't need the traditional meanings of the cards. That's what's so profound about these readings. Oh, beautiful. Now let's see what the fairies have got to say. And immediately I've got the giggles. Like there's all these little young fairies around me. It's so cute. What can you do to bring laughter in? You don't need to necessarily bring laughter into your sessions, although that can be amazing because laughter is such a beautiful vibration. It is incredible. Oh, I just, I'm feeling, it's like I just, I can feel like I'm getting hugged as well. I've got all these little fairies hugging me. And play, the word play is coming up as well. What can you do to play? You can play in your business without it being an actual uh, service that you offer. Now the beautiful card to come out is solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. And remember I was saying before, have space, have rest so you can integrate. And that's what this card is about. Have that solitude, have that alone time because you are all one. We are not broken. Our chakras are not blocked. Things are happening so the energy doesn't work as well. That happens, but nothing is blocked. You're not broken. You're not, you know, none of that. You are beautifully whole. 
And the more time you allow yourself to rest and integrate, the more that you will understand that and the more that you will really believe that, the more that your business flows easier and the more that your life flows easier. Really believe that you are whole, you are complete and you are love. Spend time alone, spend time in nature, spend time with friends that get you, that understand you and that won't provide advice unless you ask for it. That is so important to me, especially because I've done a Diploma of Counselling course. I understand how important it is to not provide advice unless someone really asks for it. And then to be aware of the advice you're providing, where it's coming from. That's really important. Whew. Fairy's got a little bit ranty there. Now let's see what else is going to come out for us. Oh. I love all of this. Okay, beautiful. Now this card to come out, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Now this is an amazing one. And this one has been coming up for me a lot lately. Is I'm in a beautiful program. Love it. Yet I really feel that that person is pushing me into the way that they think I should be. Not the way I want to be. And there are times that I have dimmed my light. That meant it took longer for my business to really start going because I was dimming my light. I was fitting into their way they wanted me to be. Now I'm like, you know what? No, that is not for me. That is not correct. So how are you dimming your light to fit in? You are unique. You are special. You are amazing. You are pure love and you deserve to run your business your way not how people tell you you should run it and that is so truly amazing when you become really confident and understand that others when others tell you how things should be that's coming from their way of doing things not your way stand up be strong and go no now the advice could be great yet if it doesn't feel right for you don't do it if it does, that's great. But tap into your beautiful body. Feel in, go in. Imagine yourself as a mini you. Go around and feel that advice, hear that advice, whatever your ability is, and see where it sits in your body. Does it feel right? Is there a knowing that yes, it's right or no, it's not right? Really tap in. Use your body a lot more. Your body is amazing. It will tell you what's right and what's not. Thank you very much for watching this intuitive business reading. As I said, don't forget to, excuse me, letting go of all that beautiful stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, to react, to comment as well. I love comments because I love coming back and commenting, you know, and replying to your beautiful comments. Wishing you a beautiful day wherever you are and I'll see you next time.